well, you missed welcoming new members. You know, always exciting when the community grows and opens itself to the influence of others and people are willing to bring their gifts to change us even as they dare to be changed. So you missed that today. Of course, everything we did today, well, we, we heard the story of, 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 of Hannah and Eli and we, we talked about prayer and what it means. But everything that we did today was tempered and shaped and and shared in in the light of what's happened in Paris, in the light of the inhumanity that we have witnessed and felt in, in Paris and in Beirut and in Lebanon and in Syria. And we acknowledged in places that we have yet to name or places we we dare not visit in person or even in our hearts so today we we talked about prayer and does it work does it mean anything are we talking to ourselves and we talked about how it, it, it's hard to find a language to talk about prayer because so often the language endorses a God that seems very partisan, who cares about us more than others or demands that we have a special trick or a way of saying things that's different than other people so that we can have what we want, uh, a cosmic concierge, as it were. And we don't endorse that God. We don't believe in that God. That is not the living God with whom we are in relationship. And so we stop talking about prayer for fear of endorsing a God in whom we do not believe or, or sounding foolish. But the truth is, for me, prayer means something. And prayer works. Not meaning that I have goods delivered on time when I say the right words. But that the response may be miraculous or it may be revelation. It might be the opening of my eyes. It might be the moment when I no longer see death as an enemy or fear. It may be the time when I see a new way, gain a new perspective. We talked today of the millions of people in the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous who through prayer have seen transformation. We talked about those moments when we pray without even meaning to, oh God, if only, please help me. Those moments, as if we know in our bones that it matters, that we need to reach out of ourselves and beyond ourselves. We talked about that. We talked about the non-theists, the atheists, the those who suspect the language or the tradition, and yet still somehow yearn to get out of themselves to imagine that they may not be the center of the universe, that everything may not depend on them, and they need comfort, companionship, strength. And so, quietly in the shower, they say, help me. Silently in the car, on the way home from work, they think, if only, please, help me. We all pray. We're just not always sure of how to describe what it is we're doing. And so I dared today to talk about relationship. I'm in a relationship with the living God. I believe we are all in a relationship with the living God. That means when we're in relationship, we are open to influence. My relation with my wife impacts me. My relation with my children, my relationship with my friends, they all impact me. I am not necessarily at my children's beck and call. I don't do everything my wife says. I often disappoint my friends or the people to whom I minister. But I'm in relationship with them and they matter to me and they affect me. I ache when they ache. I hurt when they hurt. I rush to be with them when they need me. I am also in relationship with God and I don't do everything God wants of me. 
and I sometimes try to pretend that I can't hear God speaking to me. But God affects me. But again, I'm in a relationship, and relationship is two-way. And I realize as I pray, as I share who I am in relationship with a living God, I also impact God. Not that God is suddenly at my beck and call, not that God won't occasionally, from time to time, disappoint me, not that God will do everything that I ask, but as I share myself authentically, God aches when I ache, and God hurts when I hurt, and God is influenced by me. So but prayer absolutely works. Not in a way that's easy to describe, and not in a simple mathematics, not in some cosmic concierge who does as I desire, but in a living, real relationship where what I feel and say matters. What I feel and say impacts God and the universe. And so I dare to pray for the people of Paris and Beirut and Lebanon and Syria, even though I may not know any of them personally. I dare to pray even when people tell me I'm just talking to myself. I dare to pray and I live hopefully that it matters. And my faith tells me it matters. Anyway, that's the conversation we started today. We talked about prayer, and I believe that it matters. And perhaps you do too. I invite you to consider it, though. This relationship that we have with God. What does it mean to be in relationship? Anyway, that's what you missed at Jubilee today. Hopefully we will see you next week, and we can continue the discussion. We can continue to learn together. We'll see you soon. God bless.